In partnership with the Austin Center for Manufacturing and Innovation, Project MFG presents its inaugural Additive Manufacturing Competition in Austin, Texas. The event brings together makers and 3D printers and highlights the importance and impact of manufacturing. For this competition, three aspiring teams in the region were given four weeks to design and create a device that could deliver life-saving supplies to stranded hikers in remote areas. For the exercise, tests will use a miniature design and transport an egg from point A to point B. Let's meet the teams and see how they did. Hi, my name is Seth Martinez and I'm part of the Brian C. Tech team. We've been working these last few weeks trying to get this project all ready and now we're here and it's time for us to go and I'm feeling excited. My name is Vladimir Lugork and I'm from Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. It's really kind of a big deal for me that I get to be involved in such a kind of a competition. Well, I'm Samyak and I'm from Travis. Today I'm excited because we're, we're able to compete with other teams, see if we had like different ideas or the same ideas. Being in Austin and getting to talk to these speakers is like a huge opportunity. Our town is so small, so being here is like talking to a movie star. There's a pretty cool prompt. We're basically picking up a package and delivering it by a drone, which is, drones are always fun, so it's entertaining for sure. Teams, welcome to Austin. We're here today to put your devices to the test. Here's what we're looking for. Design creativity, optimization of added manufactured components, build time and number of build cycles, and finally, a successful mission. The winning team will be awarded with scholarships. Good luck. Winning today would give that huge boost of confidence, but even being here today, that's just like a win for me. Project MFG also engages the broader Austin community by inviting middle and high school students to participate in Project MFG Connect, an event for career discovery. It's really great being in high school and having this opportunity, reaching out, branching out, and getting more opportunity and experience that I can put on my resume and just to have able to use on the field. It's so much fun just to look to the future and like, I could do this for a living and then thinking about all the people and stuff that could be saved from it, it's really, really cool. You see students of different ages, different cultures, and different locations all come together and you know, get exposed to advanced manufacturing and get exposed to the thrill of engineering and manufacturing. My name is Fabian Alefeld. I work for a company called EOS. We're in the industrial 3D printing space. And today I'm one of the judges. I hope that students take away from this activity that failing is a part of innovation. Because ultimately when you think about engineering, if you think about manufacturing, it's never a straight line. It's always a try and error line. And I hope that the students take that away from it. It's really important for groups like Project MFG to put together these inspirational competitions. Boy, the kids are really into it. It inspires them. It helps them look beyond just what they're doing in school, what they could potentially do with a career in manufacturing. And it shows them a path to the future. It's really a great program. Let's find out what these students have been working on. How excited are we? So the prompt is the, there's a hook on the bottom of the drone. It has to pick up our device, go over to the egg, pick it up, and go drop off the egg, and then drop our device where it started and leave. So we know we can do the first half, picking up the egg and moving it. The second half, dropping it off, is pushing it a little bit. It's gonna open, then when it goes back up, it's gonna grab the egg. Okay. And so when it goes back down again, when it drops it off, it's going to loosen. Okay. And hopefully it'll drop the egg safely. I am not that confident. I think our idea is definitely promising. I just think it needs a little bit more. It's stressful for sure, but I'm really excited. What have you got for me? So we have this. What, this what's solid. it called? It's the X Scrambler 3000. Nice. We came up with the name. <laughs> nice. We did a claw, like a claw machine. Going into the day, we are feeling a little bit nervous. We're not sure exactly. We have never actually tested it with a drone. How do you think it's going to go? I think optimistic outlook. Optimistic. That's a good way to start. Yeah, at least a 55% chance. Oh, very. that's very accurate. What are we calling it? Super hook. Super hook. A hook and a hook. A hook and a hook. It's simple, but it works very well. The egg is secure. It's able to drop it off without it cracking, and it's easy to pick up. Now, let's put these devices to the test and see how they work. Guys, how do you think it went? Yeah, it was really, really good. How are you? Good. One thing I'll say about your grappler, guys, so secure. I think we've all been struggling with the, the with the pickup. And when you think about this, it's it's a very small hole for the egg to fit yeah. through. 
Absolutely great design, so simple, super light. What a great hook. We managed to land it in the safety of the landing zone. Great work, guys, really well done. Good luck with the judging. When you're going through this process, did, was there one thing that you found was the most troubling that you had to work through? We had problems with stuff doing this, so we had to it kind of extend, like I call them guards, on this to keep it from uh, shaking too much and not overlapping each other when you're trying to pick up the egg. How did you approach the short time that you had to put this together? We had like rough deadlines, but then as our, as our design changed, we kind of scrapped those and we were just like, we need to get a design out soon, test it, and then make our final copy, and that's what we did. It's, it worked out pretty well. So what about uh, an idea for innovation on this where it could be used for other purposes? We talked with other people, and we realized that there's uh, kind of too much weight on these ends, so it kind of makes it in flight, it can swing too much. So if we were to make it larger, we'd want to adjust like where most of our weight is. I really love the simplicity of your design. Did it start out this simple, or how did you end up here? Our design was like the first one. We changed it because it's a hook on hook. It would be simple, easy to make, uh, make and stuff. What were you most nervous about? I wasn't nervous at all. I tested it. We tested it. We did, we did everything. Seniors and some juniors in high school developing these devices using additive manufacturing as one of the technologies to print them. We can all be happy that we have these bright students out there who hopefully will enter the workforce uh, fairly quickly and can help us to redevelop uh, the next challenges that we have as, uh, as humanity. To watch a drone pick up an egg and be able to move it, I mean, they were just like high-fiving and beaming and it's that level of excitement that we have at NASA too with our missions and it's neat to see it on their faces at this young age and hopefully they'll carry that forward with their future career. I'm really proud of my team today because even if we don't win, uh, we work together in this and it's something I'll be forever proud of. It'd be great to win but losing it's fine. We, we came here for the joy of working as a team and coming up with an idea. It's really cool what different minds come up with and the different ideas what they can do. Anybody who is trying to inspire manufacturing in the United States is a huge help. And Project MFG is absolutely doing that, helping inspire these kids to you know, look at manufacturing and advanced manufacturing careers that will help them in the future and help our country. It's just a fantastic program. First off, we couldn't have done it without uh, being here in Austin and the folks here at Ryan Companies letting us use their brand new building. It's just been awesome. Also want to thank John Burr and Acme and, and the organization. They've been instrumental in getting out here. And finally, I got to give a shout out to Adele Ratcliffe at the Department of Defense. She funds our program and her vision is to have students like you come out, compete, get in the game, have fun, and let you know that there's a place for everybody. And I think that's what we saw today with everybody that was here is, man, the future is bright. You gotta wear shades, right? So who do you think won? What if I told you that Travis High School was our winner here today? Great job, guys. We didn't think we were gonna come out on top. You know what we did? We were so surprised when we heard so that. Surprised. I'm ready to tell my mom. I wanna tell her I won. I think that it's gonna help them. Well, not just them, but other students too, because they know that there is a product that can actually do something for people, not just in the classroom, but actually outside of the classroom and actually helping people out there. Everyone has the possibility of making something great. It really just depends on how confident they really are. That's it for Project Manufacturing in Austin with our inaugural Additive Manufacturing Competition. You know, Thank you all for watching. Follow us on all our socials at Project MFG and keep an eye out for all our clash of trades. Till next time.